This is so good. I love that he has a spoonful of Dole Whip in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, Park Hoppers? Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Yeah, today we are finally gonna try Trader Sam's. Finally. We've actually never been here. Nope. We drank here when it was something else, before Trader Sam's. Yeah. I don't remember what it was called back it then. Was. It looked different, too. <laughs> uh, but that was a long time ago, too. So we're super excited to try it out today. I'm excited. All right, let's go get some drinks. Let's go. All right, so you'll see we're here at Trader Sam's, but the entrance, it's, uh, it's roped off. Uh, so the entrance is actually over to the side. Yep. You have to go enter by, what is it called? Come to a chair. Oh yes. yeah, we also have a special guest. Me, Always. I'm back. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you go give your the hostess your phone number over there and they'll call you when you're ready. Yeah. All right, we just got seated. We did. We got these cute coasters. We did. And you Trader have, Sam's on them. Yep, and also Tangaroo Terrace. Can't go back to that one. Oh. No, uh, oh, the QR code's on this one. Mm -hmm. I was like, I thought the QR code was on the back, but. You wanna put, oh here, throw the, mine inside. Yeah. I'm all taking Noah's. <laughs> what do you think so far? Um, I wanna go to Hawaii. I know, <laughs> we were saying that, so right behind Noah, you can see they have like the Disneyland pool slide. Um, and with the water running, it sounds like a waterfall. Yes. And you have like the tropical music just like barely coming in. Yep. And like the views, you don't really feel like you're in a, like a, I don't feel like I'm at Disney. No. no, I don't okay, at all. Now I that, kind of do, yes. but that's that's pretty rare guys. So we haven't heard that very much yet. That's because the slides are right there though. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. It's nice. Yeah. We're in Hawaii. Yeah, and yeah. you can see here's the like area. You're sitting, you're sitting outside. It's really nice though. Alright, so on three, we're gonna say oh, oh, oh. Can you guys? Right. Take the cinnamon right here and throw it right in the flame. You ready? Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, o
feel like I'm in Hawaii right now, guys. Like I could just be like, just, just chilling. I just need a lay. I need some better shirts. Aloha. Aloha, yes. It's <laughs> nice, you guys. So I am gonna go ahead and try. We split everything up among all of us, but I'm gonna give the tempura shrimp a try because I love some tempura shrimp. Here's some uh, sauce to dip it in, and I'm uh, I'm praying to the tiki gods that it's not spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ponzu sauce, so it shouldn't be. Okay. It's gonna be the spiciest thing on the table. Mm. This is like... The sauce is really good. If you judged it based on how it looks, I don't know if it comes out, but it looks like chili plate kind of. Yeah. So it does look like it could be spicy, and this, but it's not. The sauce that's on here too. It's like, like an aioli kind of yeah. like drizzle. Like I don't know if it's a combination of them like, both, but... Kind of sit here. Yeah, it's a really, really good. Oh my goodness! Like here, you can see it really good on this one. Oh yeah, that's really. Hold on, it's not. Good. There we go. Like I thought it was gonna be spicy. Yeah. But no. Again, for the tempura shrimp, it was twenty dollars for it. That's basically five dollars each. Uh, each each shrimp. shrimp. You get four shrimp. I mean, is it worth twenty dollars? I mean, after you include the experience, the atmosphere. I would say yes, but if it was just like, if it had rice on the side, then yes, $20 worth. It should come with us. This is, so it came, you guys saw it, it was just four shrimp. Yeah. It should come with some rice or even the, um, the macaroni like, salad. Like, yeah, the macaroni salad, but yeah, it looks this, delicious at least. It is a really good, hands down, best tempura shrimp I've ever tried. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Dang, okay. So this is the Hawaiian burger. We cut it up but it has pineapple, you know, bacon, lettuce, tomato. We got it, no onion. It came with two sauces on the side. One is like a, I think this is like some kind of smoky sauce. It's really good though. And then it came with this like, it said it came with a sweet and spicy sauce. I don't know which one it is. I feel like it says spread. So it's probably this one because it's more mayo, like aioli. And then um, this one is still also sweet. So I'm gonna take a bite without it and see how it goes. Cause I got it on the side cause it said spicy. So I don't want Crystal to die. Mmm. That is so good. It's like super, super flavorful. The bun is super soft. The flavors from everything, it's so good. Yeah. Everything is amazing. It's so good. Thank you. The flavors from the pineapple, the sweetness, this is really good. The burger is cooked perfectly too, not dry or anything. I'm going to spread a little bit of this like aioli on it though and see like how it is. I had some on a fry. Let's try a little bit there. A little more. Mama didn't raise no you know what, you know? With that spread on it, it's even better. Like it adds like a tanginess that kind of like brings the sweetness level down. It's really good. This was, I think, $19. I think this is good. It came with a bunch of fries. I don't even like sweet potato fries, but these are really good. No. So next up, we got the Hawaiian platter. Um, I think it comes either with chicken or pork belly. Um, we chose the pork belly, so we're gonna try that out right now. It came with the pork belly, it came with some rice, and then it came with the macaroni salad. So let's get a little piece of the pork belly. That's good. Oh yeah, came with like the sauce. The too. sauce too. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's At least okay. it landed on the plate. Right. That's really good. That sauce kind of pulls the whole thing together, but it's like super tender, super good. Um, I mean, I don't. It's it's just tasty. Uh, also the macaroni salad that came with it again really good can't go wrong but then you got some of the rice and it's what jasmine as well. rice jasmine mm -hmm. rice yeah which again is really good um i think this whole thing was 17 dollars mm -hmm. um and it's pretty big portion wise it's pretty big so i say two thumbs up for that all right guys you can kind of see it it's it's glowing at the bottom. The bottom's red. I legit was like, oh, the bottom is thin enough that you can see light through it. 
And then I realized when I moved my straw that it moved, and it's just a glow cube that comes with it. So this is how much Nick has had to drink so far. No, it's not even. I feel fine. It's just like I didn't think about there being a glow cube at the bottom. <laughs> like it doesn't say it comes with one, but I guess it doesn't even talk about the tiki. So <laughs> we could not end today without some Dole Whips. So no, we all got something different. Noah got a Dole Whip float. Float. Crystal got just a regular a dough dough whip, whip, but it still comes in a glass. I love that it has a side of pineapple with it. Yeah, that's like that's so cool. amazing. Mm -hmm. It just tops it. And I got the dough whip with rum. So all the rum is about to be gone though, but I'm looking forward to trying it. <laughs> First time ever having a boozy dough whip, as Noah would call it. But um, you can add. They gave me the choice of Myers rum or some a light rum i went with the myers rum so i've never had it like this before i'm gonna take off this prettiness but i want to keep it because i want to just go on my phone that's fine so let's let's try this see how the rum is all the rum is definitely at the bottom so cheers oh my gosh all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do this like I don't even have words, you guys. Like, the only place you can get a Dole Whip with rum is here for Disneyland. At Disney World, you have a couple different choices, including in park and at the Polynesian, I believe. But the combination is, like, it's just made. I mean, pineapple already goes with rum perfectly. It's gonna be a problem, guys. I'm gonna have to come all summer develop a drinking problem <laughs> it is really good though highly De recommend develop it. a drinking problem touche enhance it enhance it <laughs> dude you guys like the amount of content he is with this is adorable dude, i'm like <laughs> this is so good like i really loved my drink i like noah's drink crystal's drink not as much but it was still good but this is so good <laughs> I don't think he has a spoonful of Dole Whip in one hand. <laughs> yep, this is good, guys. I want to talk to you guys real quick uh, about parking while we're waiting for our bill to come back. Uh, so we weren't really sure where to park. We had talked to some people and they recommended parking at like the Simba parking lot, which is not a terrible idea. And if you're not sure what lot that is, it's a lot you currently park in to go to downtown Disney. That's not a bad lot to park in, but just know that none of the hotel restaurants or shopping validate Simba parking lot, only downtown Disney does. So we decided to call the hotel on the drive down and just say, where should we park? We're coming down here to Trader Sam's. They recommended we park at the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, so that's where we decided to park. Just so you're aware though, you only get three hours validated. So we're, we're within luck. We still have about 45 minutes and we're paying our bill. But if you were gonna come on a busy night and you're gonna wait a while, you might be cutting it close. And in those cases, I would say probably park in Simba because it's gonna cost less. So the way it works at the Disney Hotel, and this also is the same for the Grand though, but is you basically get three hours free with validation unless you go to one of the really expensive restaurants like Napa Rose or um, Storytellers Cafe, then they'll give you um, five hours validated because those restaurants are. Storytellers only gave you three hours. Did it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, only Napa Rose is. It says only hours. Napa Rose, and probably it probably was Steakhouse 55, but that's not open anymore. Uh, so just be aware of that. Like I said, for us, it worked out perfectly. We got here, we had about a 30 minute wait, we got all our food, took our time, and we still have at least 30 minutes to get back to the car. So it's not a big deal to be free parking. But if you don't make that three hour cutoff, it is 25 bucks for the first hour and $10 an hour after that. And that's just for self parking. Valley parking is a, a higher fee. So just be aware and kind of think ahead. If you think it's gonna take a while to get in or you have friends that are already here, you might be better off parking someplace else. Or if you're local, just Uber over. That's probably the better option. 
All right, guys, we just finished up some delicious food. We did. Delicious drinks. They're very yummy. <laughs> oh my God, the bill was a little expensive. I was like, oh my I didn't God. I see it. <laughs> but um, they do give the Legacy Pass holder discount on it, food. On food, it doesn't cover yeah. the alcohol. We did buy one tiki cup, so that added to the bill, of mm -hmm. course. Blast, we had a really good yeah, time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Really good time. We have a lot of drinks we want to come back and try. There's a couple um, mugs that Crystal really wants. Yes, oh, that I really want. You want the piranha, I thought I you do. saw. I um, do. But there are a couple we really want. There's one I really want. So we'll be back for sure. We want to come back in the, in the evening so yes. we can sit inside. Yes. So if you come from 11 to four, you're mm -hmm. going to sit outside. And at four o'clock, they open the inside and that's when you can go sit inside. Yes. So I will say the one thing I wasn't a fan of is that when you're doing the um, mobile menu mm -hmm. with the ha with the hashtag with the um, QR code? The, yeah, the app. I will say it. The only kind of bummer is you don't know what drinks have a possible mug. mug you can yeah. Get. So if you're and like you trying to collect the mugs, you don't get mugs, to pick the, the mug. Right. So you can't. You don't order the the uh, zombie. Oh, uh, yeah. Order zombie and get a different mug. Right. So that's not how it works. Um, you have to order that specialty drink about seven. I think the waitress said about seven. Yeah, drinks. there's about seven. So if you had the actual paper menu, which I did see on opening day inside at night. Mm. I don't know if they had it out here. Okay. Um, but they didn't have any paper menus today. No. Only the app. So uh, you'll have to ask your um, server yes. which drinks come with a possible mug. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will definitely be back. We had a blast. We had it was a great so time fun. hanging out with Noah. I can't wait to do it again. So we will be back, guys. So if you have any questions about the experience, let us know in the comments. If you've been and you have a favorite drink, let, let us know us what it know. was. Yes. Especially if it was one we didn't try. Yeah. So we can try it next time. Looking forward to it, guys. Right, until then, we'll see you guys next Bye. time. Peace.